All right, so here we go. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered with post-release censorship as new update removes Laura Croft pinups from Tomb Raider 3, the lost artifact. Why? Why can't they leave it alone? It's not like they took it out before. I think this is the new thing that these companies are going to do. They're going to put in everything that fans like to only remove it later for DEI purposes. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you check out the live streams on Sunday where you can join in on all the debauchery and shenanigans we get into. But also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because that actually matters. And of course, like always, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. In the latest instance of a video game developer censoring a release post-launch, a recent update by Aspire and Crystal Dynamics' recent Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remaster has removed a pair of risque pinups featuring series protagonist Lara Croft from the third game's expansion pack. Yes, post-launch, they gave us what they they gave us exactly what they said they're going to do. A a perfect just a remaster, everything the way it was, just a little bit updated, a little bit better graphics. Everybody was like, "Oh yes, this is awesome. This is fantastic." What do they do? They go and take it from us. They're like, "Haha, just kidding, guys." The two pinups in question, both of which are based on promotional renders made for Tomb Raider 3 proper, can be found hung above Laura's scuba gear locker at the start of the game's fourth level. They're not even that bad. They're not even that bad. Like, okay. How do we, how do we, how do we say this? How do we say this on YouTube? Why is it that a certain side of the aisle is perfectly okay shilling OF accounts saying this is what female empowerment but the second it's in a video game that men liked it's like no this is bad we gotta remove it why, why is that why is it that real women being absolute whores on the internet is okay but as soon as it's fake and it's it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing in the first in the first, the buxom heroine can be seen wearing her default outfit and laying against a red velvet background. Again, how are they calling that risque? That's just, like, normal. But okay. Kicking the spice factor up a notch, the second pinup depicts a fully nude Lara wrapped seductively in a bedsheet, her body illuminated by a pair of candles. Again, why is OF okay, but this is not? In the initial... The... In the initial release of Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, these pinups could be found on full display in both the Lost Artifacts original and remastered graphic settings. The appearance in the former admittedly hard to make out thanks to being composed entirely of pixels and the latter presenting them in the original high definition resolution. Yeah, they kind of don't even look the same. I don't God. I hate the, I hate all these companies. I hate every single one of these companies. I really do. However, as the first reported by the users of Tomb Raider subreddit following the release of the collection title update 2.0 on April 11th, the pinups were still present when playing the game's original graphics have now completely been removed for the remastered version. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone, guys. You you can't look at a uh, you can't look at Lara unless you uh, do it on Google. But that's that's a certain way to do it. Lara Croft Tomb Raider. <laughs> Just add in whatever uh, whatever you want at the end. I'm sure you can find it. Why do they do this? I, I I don't I don't understand. Unless they are they they are actually the patriarchy and the misogynist. Like why I can't think of any other reason why they would say looking at fake women who are attractive is terrible, and it has to be real women who are degrading themselves online, who are humiliating themselves online, who are chasing the internet for clout. That's okay, but fake ones who are just doing badass shit in a game is terrible. I know, I sound like a brokered record on this one. It's... Notably, despite Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered, including a boot up disclaimer that promises players the game therein would be presented in the original form unaltered, this is not the first instance of censorship found within the collection, and inter interestingly, both are related to pixelated titillation. <laughs> I see what they did there. As seen in the first Tomb Raider game, the series antagonist Pierre Dupont sports a bomber jacket featuring a pinup style graphic emblazoned on the back. God, I need to find. I know I've got that on a disc somewhere. I know I have the original on a disc. I gotta find it. 
However, in the remastered collection, Lady Luck instead is seen wearing a red bikini. Oh, I didn't even know that one. That's also why I didn't buy these games. I knew I knew there was going to be something up because no company has put out a remastered game and not changed stuff. Not a single one. But now I'm curious, like, why is the bikini okay, but not, not the pinup posters? I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me that. Maybe someone can fill me in on that one. 